We posted a video ranking printers a few weeks back, and some of you didn't like where we placed the Creality K2. Today, Paul has graciously provided us with a video. I got sick a few days back, but luckily you guys all like Paul the most anyways, so here we go. He's gonna be walking us through a couple of the repairs that he's done on his Creality K2 with Creality warranty replacement parts. That part's important. They're parts Creality sent, not like cheapy parts. Anyway, I'm sure it's gonna go well. All the parts are gonna fit. There's gonna be no drama in this video. So, started fixing the K2 today, or at least I'm going to attempt to. The first thing that I've done today is take the back off. I don't know what I'm looking at. Most of this uh, stuff is a little bit beyond me. I know the front of the printer. I don't know the back of the printer. Uh, so, a little bit worried about it. So let's talk about what's even wrong with Paul's K2. This is kind of Creality's flagship giant machine and it does multicolor and prints all the filaments and everything. So what's holding us up here? Well, for starters, the back of the machine's warping. Like the back cover plate is warping for some reason. Luckily, Creality sent a warranty replacement. Um, apparently Creality sent me a new back. I plan on just putting it back on. Hopefully that will help some of the warping that's happened on the back, which I still have no idea how that happened, but I'm gonna be working on that uh, a little bit, so. Another thing Paul's had issues with from the beginning was his hot end. I know there's a lot of others in the community that have reported the same thing with this machine, and unfortunately, ours has been no different. But as we've gone through and replaced more pieces over and over again, it seems like maybe the purge wiper was the issue causing the hot end issues in the first place. All right, so I got the back on. Uh, it is sitting flat, sitting much better than that uh, did. So that's definitely a positive. Um, and then also got the best uh, YouTuber in the background there, Adam Keo, showing us some tips about 3D printing. I'm going to now be working on the, what am I thinking of? The swiper, the cutter, the purger, thing that cuts and cleans the filament. Um, mine busted several times. I've replaced it uh, so many times and it's just not working. So I'm gonna try to take it off. I will tell you, I've tried to do this in the past and could not get it off. So uh, here's to attempt 37 to get that taken off of my machine. Now quickly, let's talk about Creality replacement parts. Paul's ordered a lot of replacement parts because of course he has, he owns a Creality machine. But in seriousness, his Ender 3 V3 has been like a solid workhorse for him since he started this hobby. Unfortunately, when parts need replaced on that machine, Creality doesn't even know what to send him. He's gotten pieces for the Ender 3 V3 KE and the Ender 3 V3 SE, but rarely has he received the correct parts, the ones for the Ender 3 V3 standard. And you know what's interesting about the SE and the KE parts? They don't fit. But surely they have this figured out for the K2, right? Right? So the same problem that keeps happening happens again. I ask Creality for something, I explain what I'm dealing with, and I don't think it's language barrier, I think it's miscommunication or misunderstanding of what they provided that one time. This is the initial cutter or whatever for my filament, okay? It had all the stuff on it, I removed it, but this is the initial one. You see those holes? They almost seem like screws could get screwed into them because they can. I now have three of these because this is what Creality has sent me. Doesn't look like screws can get screwed into them. You know why? Because they can't. I could bolt the screws, I could do all kinds of different adjustments to make this one work. That's the screw I'm working with for this attachment. I do think I can slice this up and put it on the back side of that one. I think that that is probably going to be the attempt that I make next. But this is just frustrating because, and this is not the first time this has happened with different machines. They use a machine, they forget what they did to it when they premiered it, and then they keep sending replacement parts that don't fit the machine that was sent. Very, very upsetting. 
So because the holes on the replacement purge wiper plate thing weren't threaded holes, as in you couldn't screw the little machine screw into that plate, Paul had to get a little bit creative to adapt the Creality warranty replacement parts to his Creality machine. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, so I did a thing. Definitely not safe. Definitely not the best idea. But I fixed it. I made it slide into the working one and put those holes into it. Ground out some stuff, flipped the script, used a Dremel, cut that baby up. There's the leftovers from it, uh, dr Dremeling it all up. Definitely not safe, don't recommend it. I do have a part that I believe will work now for this printer. It slots, I kinda got it to slot in there so I can take it out if need be. So, pretty excited that that worked. I still have my fingers and I didn't go blind. Safety first. So we don't advise doing things like this at home necessarily, but if you do find yourself using your Dremel to make your drop-in replacement parts fit on your machine, maybe use like a vise, the proper safety equipment, or if you've got a friend that you don't want hanging around very much, you can have them hold it. Be careful out there, people. Let's see how this one fits. Check out that DIY. Yeah, it is connected hopefully it'll work this time and not try to rip my nozzle off this has kind of been a problem since day one this not sitting properly so hopefully this new one does especially with the adjustments that i've made but here's to a fresh swiper so the wiper fits well but how well does this thing print now could Paul finally have solved all of his k2 problems well he ran off a benchy real quick actually i would tell you but let me just show you Okay, so this is first print after working with it. Uh, it's not a great, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's all right, but not sure. That's a little rough. So yes, Paul finally has a working K2 once again. A lot of you praised this machine in the comments on that last video, and we're super stoked that your guys' have been working super well. Unfortunately, there's a lot of you that are in a similar boat that we're in. Just because our machine's been a lemon doesn't mean your machine's a lemon, so I'm happy that some of them are out there working. Anyway, here's some other successful prints Paul's been able to run off since he buttoned everything back up. Well, this is a sight for sore eyes. I got my K2 running and it's printing stuff. I would say that it's almost back to the way I want it. Uh, there's some small things that seem a little off on it, uh, but overall, the machine's working, it's running, it keeps doing what it's supposed to be doing. Now, it hasn't been perfect by no means. There's definitely some things that seem a little off. It might just be settings and different things, and I might need to adjust some minor tweaks and different things. It does seem like the nozzle is a little bit worn, maybe is the word, but every single print I've been printing, it's performing, printing some one piece stuff right now, which is kind of cool. Um, it's not setting a perfect first layer, but I know that first layer will fix itself. And all the files that I've been printing, nothing has really stopped. I've printed some big stuff, some small stuff. There was a couple, misses on some fine detail stuff. I'm pretty happy with the whole situation with it getting me fixed up. I'm hoping it keeps running the way it should. It's looking good. Um, I have single CFS on top, running prints, and seems like it's doing what it needs to do. So I'm hoping that K2 Baby is up and running and we'll keep making some amazing things to be to be seen i guess uh here we go go ahead and comment below letting paul know how he did presenting this journey you guys showed a lot of interest in this machine so we wanted to throw something together to follow up a little bit but let me know what other machines you'd like to see this style quick update on we've done quite a few if for some reason you want to purchase one of these printers still we've got a link in the description your purchase helps us out i personally don't recommend you click that link and buy one of these machines but that's just me. Check out our Patreon if you want to support our goal to do this full time. Otherwise, head to keelprints.com to get yourself a sweet shirt or 12. That helps out a lot. Bye.